Dear Rohan, welcome back to ADU Hawks. In this video session, we are going to discuss about globalization and urban planning. The new ways of communication and transportation are having a strong impact on urban development and urbanism itself. The former issues of urbanism are today to be replaced due to new ways of living, new technology and global networks and also the development in developing countries. Distances are decreasing both locally and globally and at the same time as everyday life more and more is depending on transports and communications on different levels. Motorized traffic and public transportation means possibilities for people to commute longer distances to work, activities, shop, leisure etc. Improved worldwide communications by aircraft and ships have opened up new markets for multinational and transnational companies to provide products worldwide. The manufacturing have also been affected by this as a cost benefit analysis which includes a large amount of countries to choose between to keep quality up to a lower cost. This is called an competitive advantage and means that every country shall do what no one else can do it in a better way. Architect Remkulos among other means that the globalization has a strong impact on urbanism and that urbanism is being transformed into something new. The globalization process is connecting what happens on the global area to the local society and interactions where both parts are reeling and depending on one another. Urbanism is not just spatial structure but activities and variety. Living in urban area is today more and more about transportation between different places and less about a complete and static unit of built spaces. Transurbanism by Arjun Hulder In Transurbanism, the author Arjun Hulder discusses two types of cities. The first one is mentioned as medieval city and the second as semi-industrialized parks and boulevard city. Traditionally, the city was built around a town hall, church and market square where the political decisions, religious acts and businesses were made. Small neighborhoods with narrow, winding streets are characteristics for the medieval city and are well settled for a military purpose. Borders between urban and rural areas are clearly defined. The second kind of city has broken urban impenetrability and rigidity open. Broad boulevard accompanied by parks and open spaces are the genius loci in the semi-industrialized city. Politics and businesses are separated from each other. The streets follow the principles of a grid. The scale is larger, the buildings are more voluminous and the character is scenographic instead of purpose oriented. Conclusion As globalization has progressed, living conditions, particularly when measured by broader indicators of well-being, have improved significantly in virtually all countries. However, the strongest gains have been made by the advanced countries and only some of the developing countries. The international community should endeavor by strengthening the international financial systems through trade and through aid to help the poorest countries integrate into the world economy and grow more rapidly and reduce property. That is the way to ensure all people in all countries have access to the benefits of globalization. Thank you.